guys welcome back to no catch name it's me ella today is let's start today's sunday <laughs> september 10th today's my sister's birthday hattie the one who makes stickers and stuff so we sure happy birthday <laughs> um she yeah her birthday today i don't know if she wants me to tell you how old she is she's older than me though so <laughs> anyways uh i haven't made a video in a few days i think since wednesday maybe thursday but i think wednesday <laughs> Uh, we just were just busy. We did go to the zoo on Friday. It was so much fun. I do have some clips that I'll put in at the end of this. Um, we had so much fun. <laughs> so we were at the zoo for a while and, you know, seen all the animals and did a lot of the homeschool activities. And, uh, then after we left there, we had a picnic in the truck. <laughs> um, see, what I wanted to do is I wanted to take a picnic lunch to the zoo. So I looked on the zoo's website and it said no outside food or drinks. And that the picnic tables weren't in the zoo anymore. That they had moved them outside the zoo at the parks. That's right outside the zoo. So uh, we left our food in the truck in a cooler. And uh, the only thing we took in with us was water bottles. <laughs> but then when we got in there, there were families everywhere sitting in the grass with picnic blankets eating food that they brought. You could tell that they brought. There were picnic tables <laughs> that people were sitting at and eating food that they had brought. You could tell it was stuff that they had packed with them and not, um, you know, the concessions or whatever. So I was like, what the heck? So next time, we're just going to take our food with us. But uh, we were already in the zoo at that point, and the parking was full. There were so many people there. But um, so after we went to the zoo for a while, and we went out to the truck, we had a little picnic. We made sandwiches and stuff. It was all fun. Uh, and then we decided, since we were so close to it, we were only like 24 minutes away. We went ahead and drove over from, Ch from Chattanooga to uh, College Dale, <laughs> Tennessee. And we went to the Little Debbie Park that was there. I had seen it on TikTok, actually, and I wanted to go to see the um, sculpt sculptures or whatever they're called uh, of the little Debbie snacks, <laughs> and it was a lot of fun. It was a really nice park. It had a really nice playground, but it was so hot, and the playground had no shade whatsoever. There were no trees or canopies or anything, so it was, like, really hot. So we did only stay there for a little while because I was afraid the kids would get sunburned. We had sunblock, but it was still just, like, beating down heat, and it was really crazy hot. <laughs> And it was just right in the direct sun. But it was a beautiful park. And I did take pictures of the statues. Uh, there was supposed to be a, um, I don't know what it's called. But it's like the cupcake with the white swirl on top of it. I couldn't find it. <laughs> so I don't know if it was there. Maybe off the walking trail or something. But um, I did find the other ones. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we had fun there. And then we came home. What else did we do that day? I can't remember. <laughs> and then yesterday was Saturday. What did we do Saturday? I can't remember. We were busy a lot. I know I had to go to Hobby Lobby. I had to get some, um, I don't know where I put it. I just got some, um, other stuff I used for drawstrings. And then we went to, um, the thrift store. We bought, the, the kids got a couple toys <laughs> each. Um, and I found this. It's like a paper punch and it's Halloween shapes. So that's cool. And it works. I've already tried it. I've already been playing with it. <laughs> uh, can't remember if we got anything else. <laughs> I can't remember. But, uh, and then we came home. We just chilled at home and stuff. You know, we, yesterday, the rest of yesterday and today. I did do a lot of cutting yesterday. Let's see. There's a stack right there. Of a whole bunch of bags. I cut out a lot of bags. For, I'm proud of the next two updates. And plus I got, I found some more Halloween fabric that I forgot I had. And I was just starting to cut it earlier. And we ended up going to play Pokemon. So I gotta cut it. But I completely forgot about these fabrics. I had them on my shelf. And it's like the Halloween gnomes. They're upside down. And um, the sharks with hat, witches hats on and stuff. And then also this one's just bats. Got bats on it. So I'm gonna be making some bags out of that. <laughs> probably uh, in the next week or so. And uh, we'll also probably some of these ones will come out in the next week or so. And then again later in the month. And then, uh, today, yeah, we just did a lot of cleaning and stuff, because today's Devin's last day off. He's giving the baby a bath right now. And, uh, I'm trying to peel a sticker off of this thing. Uh, yeah, we got the kids' Halloween costumes. Jesse's gonna be something off of a video game. Off of Halo. <laughs> and June is gonna be a witch. I wanted her to be a witch last year, but I couldn't find a baby costume that was a witch. And I didn't think about making one, I guess. And then this year I thought I was going to make hers, but we found a cute one at Walmart. So I just went ahead and got it. I think I took a picture of it or a clip of it. I don't know. If I if I didn't, I'll do it next time. <laughs> and, oh, wait. It's her hair. I can just show you. This is her trick-or-treat bag from last year. So we're using it. Jessie's had the same one, too, for the last few years. It's a uh, 
looks like a hand. He always gets a lot of compliments on it. This is the costume we got in June. Oh, that was so cute. It's a 2T, so it might be a little long on her, the legs and arms, but I can, I can fix that. I've done that with Jesse's costumes in the past. And I need to go ahead and open the hat now and let it get uh, shaped. I might have to like stuff it with some plastic bags or something so that it can have its shape. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so we've just been doing stuff like that. So tomorrow's Monday, starts back the regular <laughs> school week and work week and everything. Devin was only had a three-day week last week because he was off for Labor Day. And then he took off Friday because we us going to the zoo. So things are going to go back to normal. <laughs> I'm kind of glad for that because it lets me, um, you know, get everything back the way it was. <laughs> I just remembered I got a load of laundry and I switch over to the dryer. I gotta do that. But anyways, I'm going to uh, insert the clips. We haven't watched any scary movies, I don't think. No, not since um, The Final Wish and yeah so oh i do want to mention um my crocheting <laughs> is going to switch over soon i'm going to be making a lot of amigurumis uh and some of them are going to be christmas themed because me and my sister are going to we're going to apply tomorrow she's sending us the application tomorrow to do a christmas market here in my town uh it is december the second so it's like th three months away it's like 12 weeks away i think a little under 12 now um so we're going to do it we're going to share a booth and it's, we, we each get a six foot table because the booth comes with uh, two six foot tables and two chairs. So we could each have our table, you know. Uh, and we're going to, if we get approved for it, we got to apply for it tomorrow. We're going to be doing that. So I'm going to be making a bunch of amigurumis. I'm going to make, I'm going to focus on making like smaller things that are uh, a lower price point so that maybe people can buy them, you know, because it's going to be close to Christmas. And uh, we're going to push them as stocking stuffers. <laughs> we're going to make signs about them being stocking stuffers. For my little amigurumis and for her stickers and things because they're little um so that's what we're gonna do <laughs> so hopefully um hopefully we get like approved or whatever and then i'll be working on stuff for that so i do still gotta finish that i still haven't made that last witch <laughs> for halloween and then i still need to make six more amigurumis but i can make smaller things and um everything else can just wait because i want to focus on that craft fair because if i can do it and and it's successful you know that could be money i could put towards christmas um but yeah, so anyways, I'm just going to say that, <laughs> that I'm going to be making Christmas stuff soon. But I'm not going to make a lot of Christmas things. I'm just going to make a few Christmassy things and then a bunch of just cute amigurumis because, um, you know, if you're giving someone something on Christmas, it being Christmassy is kind of pointless <laughs> at that point, unless they really like Christmas or something. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and insert the clips because my phone is dying. It just popped up and told me it's dying. So I need to get this edited and charge my phone a little bit. I got switched laundry over and I need to clean up a little bit because I was working in here on my Halloween swap that I'm doing <laughs> today. I was making stuff for it. So I guess I'm going to go ahead and hop off here and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye guys.